Hello, all you favorite fantastic people. It's your boy MB Set coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And in this one, what I want to be doing is doing all of the available side quests that we got because there's like 20,000 of them. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on this one. I might not do the main quest, but definitely a heck of a lot of the side quests. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Yeah. So let's um go in. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't even know which one I want to do where I should be going first. So I'm just going to randomly pick. Let's let's start with Martha's Rest. And I know we'll go in a circle or something. But yeah, I just want to do all these. All of the side quests. Dora should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Yeah. I don't I don't even remember what the ones that I've picked up already, but meh. Hey Martha. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. Nice. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Sure. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. That's probably a very good idea, them yes. With whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. Alrighty then. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Good stuff. Gazal Greens. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. Yeah. And chocobos love them too. Which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. You know, uh, if you want uh, some very sweet, sweet uh, recipes for weird ingredients, we got a dude back at the hideaway with uh, an ancient book full of weird recipes. Mm-hmm. All right, Doris, where are you? It doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? Hmm. So, was it a fruitful reunion? Hopefully. I'd say so. She tried to recruit yeah. me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beast men on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. Yeah, I was gonna say. the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. So. Hmm. Lots of multiple locations here, right? Self determination. Phoenix, heal thyself. And then we gotta go to East Pool. Okay, we got a whole bunch here. 
All right. Hmm. Let me check the shot real quickly. I want to see what's new. What's up, bro? Hello, dude. Oh, you know, just uh, checking your new stuff, which I don't think you got much, right? Hmm. Ooh, we got some ice one. Reduces rim cooldown. Is it rim or rhyme? I'm gonna say rim. Whatever. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Oh well, we can buy a potion. Much obliged. Uh, we can sell valuables, perhaps. Yeah. Is that everything? I wanted one of those. Okay, so I think. How do I want to tackle this? Well, I gotta teleport to three different places. Let's do the East Pool one first. I don't think it really matters. But first. But first, we sh like. <clears throat> you know exactly what we need to do. <clears throat> right? We gotta check out the Shiva stuff, right? Slide effortlessly across the ground in any direction, attacking with circle while sliding can temporarily freeze enemies. Ooh. Oh. I see. What does the master do? So it can be used to dodge incoming enemy attacks. Circle can be used while sliding to ex execute a powerful follow-up attack called Frostbite. Enemies struck with Frostbite will become temporarily frozen, precisely dodging an enemy attack with cold snap. Freezes all enemies within the radius. This is known as permafrost. Permafrost duration is determined by the strength of the enemy attack dodged. Mastery increases permafrost duration. Ooh. So this might replace my berserker ring then. Right? And then we got mesmerize. Launch multiple shards of ice that, upon striking lighter enemies, draw them toward Clive. Can be used in midair. Ooh. I like that. Unleashes a river of icicles that greatly knocks back any enemies it strikes. Hold button to increase potency. Ice age. And then we have Rhyme. Yep. Yeah. Summon a colossal colossal ice crystal that deals continuous damage to all enemies that become trapped inside it. And then we got Diamond, of course, Diamond Dust. Oh, look at that stagger though. It's five stagger. Two and two. Three and one. So high damage, low stagger. Two and two. Two and two. But then three and six. Yeah, this one doesn't have a lot of stagger, but look at that damage. Five damage. Impulse. Clear breath. Hmm. Hmm. I see. So, <clears throat> I need to determine which abilities I am going to get rid of, right? Because I want to try, I, I do want to try Impulse. Yeah, I want to try Bahamian again. I want to try Shiva. So, what's the other one that I want to keep then? I do like that. I do like Titan. It is less damage than the Giga Flare, though. Maybe I will remove the Titan. And maybe I'll do these two instead. Perhaps. Okay, you know what? I have made my choice. I'm going to get rid of Ramu. I will get rid of Titan. Don't need I don't want Will of the Wisks. What I do want, however, is do I okay, do I want actually do I want Phoenix Shift or do I want Deadly Embrace? I think I want Phoenix Shift. So that I can yeah, so that I can move to them quicker, right? Let's do that. Let's master it. Let's get rise and flame. I want rise and flame. I don't need to master it. But with Rising Flame, I want Gouge. Because Gouge... 
Is it gouge or is it wicked wheel? Use what it is like down thrust, which deals more damage when dealt from higher up. I thought there was a certain move though. Can be used emitter, increases follow up strike speed. Which one do I want? Yeah, I want the gouge, I think. It's a lot of it's a lot of stagger. So let's go this and let's master it. So we'll use we can use rise and flame. And then No, Wicked Wheel would probably work better, right? So let's let's do that. And I will master Wicked Wheel. We're gonna get winds of wind, yeah, winds of light, cold snap, and definitely want diamond dust. And I think I would want mesmerize. Is good though; it pulls them to me, right? I think that's kind of three and two. Yeah, it's high damage, but I think what I would want is the higher stagger. Plus, it pulls the enemies to me. I'm going to upgrade Diamond Dust. And then... Yeah, I think I would want Impulse. Satellite. I'm not sure which one would be better between Satellite or mes Mesmerize. Uh, or Impulse, I mean. Mesmerize. You know what? I want Impulse. Screw it. Like, I know satellite, satellite would work better for keeping things up. But I think what I would want is... I'm going to use Shiva... I'm gonna like this these two together will be for enemies that are high right like the ones that I have a hard time reaching I think this is a good combo because I can throw them upwards and then follow up with wicked wheel and then it hit them while I'm in the air and then use Shiva for staggering and then yeah, and then use Behemoth for just dealing a bunch of damage. So I'll use Impulse. And I think that's, I'm, think I'm going to try that. Yeah. So what do I have here? He increases healing potency of high potions by 25. I might not, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the Berserker Ring just for now. And I'm going to, tr I'm going to try that dodge move, whatever. Uh... Wait, do I even have Lion Heart I don't even have Lion Heart Tonics right now. I could buy some. But I'm I don't think I'm close to a, a merchant, perhaps. I don't know. But let me let me change it. Breath of light, flare breath, no. Nope. What else do I have? Do I have the impulse one? Increases impulse will damage by 10%? Yeah. Ah. Uh, nah. Oh, sword. Nice. Increases the will damage of magic by 10%. So this would make my Shiva strategy-ish thingamajig that I want to try out better, right? I don't... And I didn't receive any... Wait, did I unequip it? No. I just... Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm confused a bit. So I said I wanted to keep the, the Phoenix Shift. I will put Wicked Wheel here. And for square, I'll use the Rise and Flames. And then here, I don't, I don't think it matters which one I pick. But I want Mesmerize. So what is it called? Cold Snap. Okay, Cold Snap. Then we'll get Diamond Dust. And then we'll grab Behemoth again. And we'll do Impulse and Giga Flare. Mm hmm let's try that what's the worst that's gonna happen right hello good sir ah lord rossfield why yes you to eastpool greens from martha Hey, you 
you go, good son. is all green seats. Yes, they are. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Mm. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Bearers and guardians alike. Oh, I agree. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... Fine, sirs. The horde is closing in. Yeah. They're coming. So wait, Speaking of devil, them. huh? Time it all. I thought we'd have more time. Go. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Come on, this is an RPG. Yes, what do you expect's gonna happen? The horde. Right? Come on. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. Mm-hmm. Yes. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, East Pool. This is your village. Your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, You'll lose it! You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Probably. Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? Basically, she's trying to ask, are you a bunch of pussies or men and women? What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. 
I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. So, asshole, what do you say now? For East Pool! For East Pool! Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Yeah. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? <laughs> oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. Yeah. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Boy, doll. So wait, they're here. Come on. My glory. Then you know what you must do. My United States of whatever. Everyone playing their part, each shielding the other, that no man might fall, that Eastpool might live on, for Rosaria. For Rosaria. We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too then, eh? Right you are, Martha. Is Martha gonna fight with a frying pan? I wanna see that. Bing! Frying pan in the face! All right, try time to try the storm. some new abilities. Oh, hmm. And here it comes. Oh, that is a lot of enemies. We can't let these pull. All right, and we won't. I'm, I'm testing it out. I thought that I could move and attack it and like do that at the same time. Let me uh, let me read up on the move once again, right? Pull snap. Oh, I gotta use circle again. I was pressing square. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, okay. I see. I see now. Let's see uh, what mesmerize looks like. Oh! Oh! Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And, uh... What about diamond dust? Oh! Oh! Very nice. Oh, look at that! We get to try my, um... Okay. Oh yeah, okay. 
okay, okay. Good times. Oh yeah, I, that's right. I gotta learn to. Uh, I can now dodge using um, the circle. Well, if I'm on, if I'm on Shiva, right? Oh, okay. So there, it doesn't pull them if they're blocked by. Oh, I failed that one. Come on, bro. What? What? Oh, I can't taunt. Can I? Do I not know what I'm doing? Do I not know what I'm doing? I don't think I know what I'm doing. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong buttons and shit. Oh, this is annoying. You know what? Fuck you. I just need practice, right? Right. I just need. I just. I, I'm embarrassed. Maybe I should just move this completely from the video. <laughs> Oh, that's the last of them. Good times. Lord Rossfield, change of plan. What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. Oh yeah, then. Where is it? There. All right, let's go fight that curl. Curly fries are pretty good too. Hey, Martha. Come to tell me an Akashic curl's heading towards the rest. Get yourself down there. We can handle things here. Okay. Bye, Martha. Bye, Wade. Bye, asshole. No, wait. You're not the asshole. You're you're a good one. You you were you were part of one of the good ones, right? So you know, I'm sorry. Yeah. I do apologize. Hmm, cutscene, huh? Oh, oh. There it is. With me, Joshua. Wrong, oh. wrong buttons again. I dodged! Why is it over? I'm do I'm trying to do the taunt. Why does it do that? Oh, I have to be holding the R2 first. And of course I try to press other buttons first and failing miserably. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. There you go. Oh, 
Come on. Fuck you. Get fucking wrecked, fool. Fool out of me. That is a lot of holy fuck. <laughs> holy fuck, that is a lot of damage. Wow. Hot damn. Okay. I think I kind of understand the giggle flare, but I think with a combination of Shiva and Bahamut. It's probably going to be really good. And I think I'm just going to focus on that for now. All right. Back to East Pool. Yes, please. Yeah, so I try. Yeah, Bahamut definitely once you're staggered, you can deal a lot of damage. So now I want to try focusing on the Shiva. Let's see how I feel about that one. Lord Rossfield. The curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. I think it might. We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. Good for him. But now we do. Oh, this... We really do. Oh, this makes me happy. Us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. Understandable, bro. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. This is... We have to Eastpool! To what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away, they'll have us to answer to. Come on then. Let's get to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. Well, it's okay. Just, you know, it's a bit shine. I don't know, go fishing and hunting. Grow some crops. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Oh. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. But you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. <laughs> Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'd be counting on yours too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All right. Ooh. I will. Is it finally gonna happen? Bye, Martha. Mm. See you soon. Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Oh, yeah. The marble. Clearing the goblins from the Stillwind Marshes. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> 
There's one sight that I shall never forget. You, facing off against that giant mauble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. You're a good guy, Wade. So, Wade, you have always been a true shield. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> I'll do my best. These side quests are just great. It's just, it's just great. They're great. The personality and just the like the bonds and sh holy fuck, this game is amazing. Story wise. What? Oh fuck! The hero returns. It's been a long time since they've been able to it's do it this you good. you came by when you yeah. did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. Ah, I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. Uh. Oh. Thank you, Martha. This is so Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. Not the reward I wanted. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know... Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful, anyway. Me, I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. But somehow we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work... <sighs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin, it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day. That whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know, I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. But the loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? 
The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach, neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah. <clears throat> and the level up, too. Good times. Oh! 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 oh. The emblem on Martha's rest. Personal fiefdom of the Golden Stables. Indomitable Land Lady. Land Lady. Yeah, Land Lady. Jeez. Learn how to pronunciate. To those with no love for the Empire, the settlement stands as an island of safety in a sea of anything but. Displayed in Clive's chambers. Yeah, this is... This is... The, the, it's nice. It's very nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. Hmm. It's very nice. Alright, let's go to three reasons. We're gonna... Run there on Ambrosia. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, is the aqueduct now to find our stone wart? Yote mentioned blood red petals. Oh, okay, well, just my luck. Well, okay, no. Nope. <laughs> There's only one thing for it. Oh, can I not fucking dodge to save my life? No, no, no can do. Let's try to dodge again. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing things. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I was Joshua. <laughs> I thought he was aiming at somebody else! Yeah, I thought he was aiming at somebody else! Oh, fuck, man! So... Yeah. I like the concept of Shiva. A lot. I do like the concept of Shiva a lot. I just wanted, um, I know I could attack and dodge a little bit more, but I really Here wanted to see the dodging in action. As much as I can before reinforcements arrive. But you know. All right, that should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. Yeah, let me just grab this piece of candy right here. All right, and now we want to go here. I think the quickest way would be, yeah, right here. And we'll go around. Go around every now and then. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going the right way, yeah. Go around every now and then. I really don't know what the f I'm doing. Go around, oh yeah. 
quest destination nearby. Hmm. Why, yes. How are you all doing, good sirs? Good. We haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? I don't know. Something, something dark side? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. They're not. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. How about y'all die instead? How about I survive and y'all die? You're welcome to try. Exactly! Let's fucking go, bitches! No, I've just gotta fucking wreck these motherfuckers. Alright. Alright. Confused with the dodging and the buttons of all of the other abilities and shit and you know what fuck it you know what y'all just how about I just fucking kill all of you oh. my fucking Hey guess what guess what Hey that motherfucker Wait am I even hitting him? I swear I'm just not used to these styles but I see the benefits hey bitch how you doing bitch have a good time bitch no you're not so much for your escort <laughs> you'll forgive me for not avenging my men I'm not the swordswoman I used to be I surrender do with me as you wish Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Ah! Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. She's family? This woman. Oh. My former master. Former master. Once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter. And I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible. Surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? Ah, fuck no! I never swore my blade to you nor will i ever i fight for a higher cause to liberate the bearers of this world farewell master thank you for making me the weapon i am <laughs> right you always were a righteous child perhaps that's the reason i loved you so wait what but she's just gonna enslave more what do you want to do with her i am not the killer she wanted me to be 
Not anymore. Good for you. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. Hmm. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. And I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. But first, we have another side quest here. And I'm probably going to do all the other side quests first before heading back to the hideaway, so, you know. Oh. Never mind. The, the game told me, fuck you, you go to the hideaway. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Since we're here. Oh. Is there only one? Yeah, there's only one that okay, yeah, let's 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 turn in that one, I guess. We're here, so. Covered in Nick's It'll be notes. one less marker on our map and stuff. Hello Mughal. Hello, Yote. Yote, I brought back all the stone and water I could find. Will this be enough? Stone award. Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and his grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose now, you. We, we, I'll keep that in mind. We're too good. We OP. We got this. Phoenix, heal thyself. God damn it. All right, well, all right, let's open the world map, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what? One of the side quests is a hunt. Because what I wanted to do was do the hunts in another video, do all of the side quests this video and then another one for the hunts but technically this hunt is part of a side quest so i'm gonna do it right i think it was in the marshes or something right yeah it's the morble right the whispering waters of rosario okay yeah okay the watering waters i think it's close to east pool i think Maybe I should have gone to Martha's Rest or whatever, but it's it's pretty close one to the other, right? Uh Oh yeah, the whispering 
Oh, yeah, that's the place that I went. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to three reads. Yeah, that's the uh, big opening. I was like, there's probably going to be a fight or something here at some point. It was just a big pool of water with absolutely nothing there, so. All right, well, let's go. Ready, go. Run like the wind. Yep, it's in here somewhere. Let me uh, try to grab this piece of candy here. Thanks, girl. All right, time to get wrecked, right? Carrot! Mm -mm -mm -mm. I like carrots. They're sweet. Mm. Him, but I'm jumping, so I'm gonna charge my mega flare in the meantime. Alright. I'm gonna charge my mega flare. I'm a charging up my I'm a charging up my laser beam! Oh I'm a charging up my laser beam! Charging up my laser beam! Charging up my laser beam! But I got it. Starting to understand it a little bit. Oh man, that fucking stagger damage though. Holy fucking shit. fucked it up but you know like, I'm still learning I'm still I, I'm still learning and developing my skills that was definitely anything but ordinary yeah 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 it was 
Let's get this vine back to the yard. Yeah, we'll go back later. All right, let's keep going in a circle, I guess. What's that? The Crozet Echoes. All right, so we got we got some stuff there. Wait, what is this? Fox Cry Cliff. Oh, we got a there's a quest there. Okay. I thought we were there already. Oh yeah, we were there earlier and I it teleported us automatically. Oh wait, is there a merchant somewhere? Do we have a merchant somewhere close? I don't think so. Alright, before I continue, I'm gonna go to Martha's Rest actually. Because I know there is a merchant there and I need potions because you know. I'm still learning to use Shiva and the Hammoth. Like a fucking noob. So what did I have equip again? Increases the will damage of magic by 10. Yeah! Oh, frig. Yeah, that and Shiva combined together. It felt kind of very strong, right? All right. So let's go to Hot Scry Cliff. Let's go do the other quest. Oh, no. The whole village is turned. Oh, that's that sucks. Good job, Turtle. Good job. Yep. Oh man, this is this is brutal. These seems like enemies, right? I need to deal with these ones first. was out. Come on. I'm dodging you piece of shit. Fuck you. This is what you get for being an asshole. You piece of shit. I should have used that, but I forgot. There we go. There you go. Yeah, fucker. There we go. Spherical echo. Oh. All right. Well, we did it. This is it. Right then. Just two more to find. I'm very disappointed in myself, though, with my lack of skills. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going in a circle. We'll get them all done eventually. <laughs> Where is that? There's one there. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab this one here. It's back the way it was. What's up, bro? It's been a little while. 
Clive. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'll check to see if you I cleaned up your to shop. See how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. That's Lord. us! <laughs> Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws, and they grow more organized by the day. But we'll fight them all off just like last time, no matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? Hmm, of course. How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. Line in the sand. Prior to rise, quest! <laughs> What's the difference between a lord and a mayor? That's a league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Yeah. Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kosnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. All right, let's go do it. There it is, but first, piece of candy. And then the camp. Mm. That must be the camp Victor mentioned. We make this quick. That's him, the one who killed Locke and Fingers. Take his head off. Are, are they... Ooh. 
diamond dust can't hurt anyone, right? How many more is there? Oh, a couple of them, okay. Hey, bro. How you doing, bro? <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Oh, before I'm a laser! <clears throat> I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're coming here, though. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but... That's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimel. What is it? Yeah. What? The whole town's in uproar. Why? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalamal. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic and without a crystal, that's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck them! Fuck. Yeah, fuck! I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. Yeah, if they hurt him because he's a bearer, or they fuck him up, I'll burn. I'll burn the fucking town down. I'll fucking do it. I'll burn it. I'll do it. I'll defile my laser beam. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubo. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies I'll wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Fuck you, you piece of shit! Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something. And quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred, they listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. <laughs> Why are you taking the bearers? Why do they always have to make such a fuck? Hey, you time? all along. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants? Uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. I'm about to slit your throat. But what if his wares? 
Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. Oh, fuck off. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. Because he's a bear. Fuck you. Propose. Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalamil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Oh, I'm involved, all right. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Why the hell would Victor take the bear aside? For a share in I assume the situation is hopeless? There's still hope. But... I fucking hate this world, though. Well, I don't hate the game, but, just, you know. Perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You yeah, see. let's talk some sense. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me... That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. Come on, no, bro. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits really? them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubo. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Uh, again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Yeah, um, sorry, but the whole town turned against him. Forget it. Why the fuck would he care Do about this town? Will. Yeah. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Well then. I didn't like this one. It's fucking burning the place down now. Look at that. Magic ash. Mm-hmm. Make everything to ash. Just everything, yeah. Just death to all. Death! Death! Tabor, I'm coming back. Right there. Mm-hmm. What's up, bro? Who's? Hey, man. Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? 
Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. Mm -hmm. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but if you would consent to do so in my stead, I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Alrighty then. Alright. I'll go and meet with them. Yeah. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Duty Undying, prior to memorize the quest. Hmm. Mm -mm. Cyclopedia of Velestian Fabulosity, the Pentateuch of the Crystalline Autodoty, the Ledgers of Gilbar, the Great Lender, the Collected Hymns of Grigor. I have no idea what the fuck what any of this it's is, but. Oh! Smart people words! Well, I can't have you all keeping secrets from me, can I? No, we need, we need to be part of these secrets too, huh? Oh, right there. Wait. <gasps> it is inaccessible! Oh! How dare they? All right, well, you know what? We're gonna go over that way because there's a quest here that we can grab, I guess. And then we'll do that one too. Hmm. We'll see why it is inaccessible. Oh wait, was there always a crystal here? Oh, I didn't notice this. I could have teleported here very quickly. Dravats Obelisk activated. Mm -hmm. Kicked out already. No, this charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. I was wondering when he was going to come around for a quest. What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Zoltan! Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Let's fucking go! Go on then. Much obliged. Hmm. I see. A little town, eh? So this is Dravosht. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. 
All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. All right, then. He'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Will I now? You sure about that? Buff, we come. Is there anything? Oh, there is a shop, though. How we gonna earn our keep? Shut your hole. The chief will think of something. There's gotta be some treasures in here somewhere. Hello, merchant. Would you like to see my wares? Uh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The lion. Oh, the lion and the hare. You are. Ooh, 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 ooh. Certainly. May we meet again. Bye bye. Got treasures. Got treasures behind you or something? No. No. All right then. Isn't there anything we can do to help? No. It doesn't seem fair. The men folk need to deal with all this on mm. their own. I've started putting peas and pulses in the pot. Let they fill the same. No a treasure. Treasure. Treasure! Yay! Uh, disappointing treasure! Yeah! Should be enough to last us a few moons. No, okay, well, whatever. Hotter! Hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, let's kill everyone and then save those bearers. I'm going. No, we kill everyone, save the bearers, and then we leave. All right. Like, it should be easy peasy. Like, we shouldn't be thinking about this. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. We should just do it. This to all, since you have. Mama. Like, you don't even have good treasure. You got shitty treasure to give. He's helping the Chief with Just that deserves death. Alright? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, but you know. Forges, how we gonna earn our keep? Shut your hole. Chief will think of something. What about all the way out there in the back? I saw some chicken coops or some shit. Because in the markets, I got an orchestrion roll. And you're gonna tell me here I get Sorry, nothing? But if none of you lot can smell ore anymore, we're gonna have to start looking for new. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it can. Yeah, it connects. It's all connected, right? Wait, what was that? The, the Dress of Mines. Ooh, you know what? I'll bet you that we will have to go in there at some point. But right now, I'm just doing some explorations of an area I have not explored in the past. Miners only. Can't have you tripping head first into a pile and bringing the old place down. Oh yeah, whatever, bro. Nobody cares about you anymore. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and then there's probably just going to be monsters this way, right? Okay. 
Oh, well, I, I checked things out. I did some explorations, and I'm very disappointed with this place. All right, so let's start killing everyone and save the bears. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, treasure! All that for me is a goblin coin. The sadness is real. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Zoltan! As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravojd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft, who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the great Smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without its furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Yeah, we're trying to make the world... Since creations were never meant to be hoarded. Exactly. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared that, them. We want to make a better Let world. This be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Exactly. We want Travel people away from that. That is possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? Yep. When you put it that way... Yep. Of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two, would you, August? Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. Oh, yeah, boy! Well, let's go! Lots of dead, uh, dead animals here. They must be. Let's the... make this quick, shall we? Yeah. Come on, 
Get some diamond dust in your face, bro. On. That was quick and easy. Ish. Somehow. Somewhat. Yep. I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Ready, go? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Alright, Blackthorn, I got your shit. Nah, do some shit. I can walk from here. Well, you, you have to walk from here. About, then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work, but it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Travoshed is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cold Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not gonna happen. All right, well, we did good enough. All right, bye. Well, you know what they say? Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Mm hmm. All right then. So now we go here. All right. Yeah. Let's. So let's go here and see what we can do. These things are going to take some getting used to. It's inaccessible, so maybe we can't. But maybe there'll be something that happens once we arrive there. So, because I I did. It, it has happened before that a place was inaccessible, but then it's when we get closer. We were good to go. Can we not? 
Oh, it doesn't seem like it. No. No, it's it does seem like it, it is inaccessible. Completely. Oh, no, that's right. That's right. He did say to go through Titan's Wake. Oh, okay. Well, we will do that then. We have not gone through Titan's Wake before. So, it, yeah, that was blocked off. There was orcs there. And a big cart blocking the way. Uh, I'm assuming the cart is gone now then. But before I go, I do see a piece of candy, which is going to be disappointing, right? Very disappointing, yes. All right. Oh, come, come, turn, turn, what the hell? Learn how to drive, bro. Oh. Oh, yeah, never mind. I can't jump and kick at the same time. Yeah, it was right here. All right, then. Let's see what is going on up in here, yo. Son, just get wrecked. <laughs> oh, look at that damage! Oh, that is just crazy. All right, let me get some healing in here. I still think I prefer doing the Berserker Ring Dodge. Because then you can attack just like fucking crazy, right? Oh, yeah, let's not fall down there. I think that would be bad. Ooh, so there's a whole bunch of little things here, right? So I bet you that if we explore main a little bit, we'll find some good stuff. All right, all right, let's do that. I want to do it quick, though. Let's go. All right, let's go see what's this way first. This might take a while. Nope, not even, because we're just running away. Hmm, goblins, eh? Can we go up there? Maybe, I don't know. Can we? No, we can't. Is that a treasure chest or something? No, I don't see anything. I dodge. Fuck you. I suck. Level three should be good enough. Let's so let's just do some fucking stagger now.
Wait. We're still fighting? This one. The hell? <laughs> We're still fighting this mofo. All right then. Okay, right, let's see what was actually here after this stupid ass fucking fight, I guess. Probably nothing. I probably did this all of this for nothing. Yeah, there's there's like nothing here. Like what was the point of all of this? Nothing? Good girl. Run oh, that is annoying. Enough of you are there. Now, so this seems like this is going to be going towards that ancient ruin. So let me turn in the quest, and it's probably going to make us go back there, right? Please. So you know, okay. all right. All right, I'm sure. Safe. I'll fight you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's already. Get wrecked, fools. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, at least we're gonna unlock this one. Which is fine. Crypt of Obelisk activated. You deserve a rest. Oh. Oh shit, what happened? Oh no. Really? You'll pay for this. Yeah. Fucking assholes. I saw this fight. All the more reason to rid this place of echoes. Come on, I can't, I can't see all of them. Fucking shit. I go this way, yeah? Okay. But you know what? I'm gonna go behind here first. Yeah, see? 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 Oh, goddamn steel silk. Ah, oh, all I got is trash. Come on. I'm good. No. Fucking trash. Still. Can I jump up there? No. Oh, okay then. Let's go. Let's fight this motherfucker. Whatever that thing is. Say it's their leader. Come on. Frost at least, right? 
We got the fire. We got the laser beams. Fucking wreck, bitch! <laughs> I was like, are they gonna kill it? Or should I kill it? All I did was fire a tiny bit of magic. Should have stayed in the past. Yeah, this uh, oh. These must be Cyril's colleagues. Rough. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? Yes. We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now, to what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here. And I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. It's one thing to lay down your life for another. But for a survey... Mm. Forgive them, Clive. The Undying live by a very different creed, and nothing we say will change that. Come. Let us deliver their findings to Cyril, that their deaths might not be in vain. Mm. That is definitely a different creed. Uh, before we teleport there, though, I did want to go see what was there. Oh, no, there. Yes. I guess I should have checked it. I was, sh I was sure... That uh, this was uh, gonna bring us back. There's the rooms where they were doing a survey. But I guess not, right? Yeah, this way. Don't get surrounded. Be safe. Oh, I love it. I'm actually enjoying quite the Shiva one, though. That I am. Hmm. What's up, bro?
Such judge, so mega. <laughs> oh, I dodged the wrong way though. All right, well. Oh man, that fucking stagger damage though. Holy shit. I'm starting to understand them just a little bit more. Well, okay, so I guess it, it seems like it wasn't too much of a waste, right? Ring of the Demolitionist. Increase magic burst will damage. Magic burst. Oh. Wait, magic burst, that's the, um, magic burst. Oh, uh, yeah, no, fuck that. I don't want that. All right, let's go back here. We are going back to Tabor to turn in the quest. Ah. Oh. You are returned, my lord. I... collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. Mm-hmm. Wasn't the point of us going there was to find out by ourselves? My thanks. But still, we, re we still report it to I him first. I shall study them, and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against... Oh, yeah, so we don't know shit, so... <laughs> Cyril. Your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every Undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Mm. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. Why not? The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose. And that purpose alone. Cyril. I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please, for all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. But if you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the Phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. 
Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. Yeah, uh, well, just at least get an escort, like he said. Like, just simple things like that. Come on. Dumb. Ice Age, huh? Hmm. Oh, is that, is that the move? No. No, it's Mesmerized that I use, not Ice Age. I think. Right? Yeah, it's Mesmerized. What was it? Ice Age again? Yeah, it's loss of damage. Knocked him up. Oh, I can hold it. Oh, nice. Yeah, but the stagger damage is less. And I'm using Shiva mostly for stagger. Right? So, meh. All right. You know, while I'm here, there is a merchant here. Let me just restock on potions. Here, take a look at my wares. I keep pressing wrong buttons. Okay, yeah, I did buy that. All right. A fine choice. Of course. And let me sell you my valuables. No, valuables. God damn it. There it is. Three of these. Ah, not bad. All right. So we do recover some monies. All right. So now we teleport here. We travel to the obelisk of the Cruzet. Because there's a qu there's another quest there. So so many quests. Oh, so many side quests. Unreal. So far, I really like the very first one of Martha's Rest. And the other one's right, man. It's all right. All right. Uh, oh, hey, hey. ah! Straight home now. Just use a level one, I guess. I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. So that's done. I think we're done here, right? Oh, no, we're there. We gotta go to Bullclad! <laughs> oh, so many sock quests! Oh! Oh, Theodore! Ah, uh, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. Right on! That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? No. Ah, uh, sure. What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. You can do that yourself? Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Sure. Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right?
Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the Consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. El, What's happened? I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. It's a shame. What are we gonna do about it? But I thought we were the only ones the Fist were speaking to about the bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randalar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? Yes. How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? Yes! Well... It looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium. Who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but... Is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. Oh, yeah. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. Oh, yeah. I'll do my best. All right. Randalar, then. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The Consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not neutral. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that.
Mm-hmm. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. They deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Wait, what? Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. That escalated quickly. They help and fast. Ah! Theo! I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just... Make sure he's safe. Can I teleport there? Hold on, Theo. At least. Or is it here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty then, let's go fight off a dragon. Yeah. This uh this sock quest did tur took a turn uh they took a left at Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. Oh that's where I was I came and checked this out a while back too and it was like this big old dead end, right? I was like, oh well uh, there's probably gonna be something here at some point. Yeah, a big old dragon fight. Can we jump down there? Oh, we can! That'll do, girl. Oh, we can jump down there. Oh, yeah. Super fast. Where's Theodore? Up river! Oh, shit. He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village. But the whole area is flooded with ether. Oh, shit. We just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle, with me. Boom, ba dum, ba do da, boom, ba dum, boom, boom. Well, I'm coming. Oh, all right. Tell me he fucking goofed up though. Damn it. He's 
creatures have already turned. That should be enough, right? Come on, Theo, where are you, bro? I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Oh! Looks like it's found me. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. I got this. I'm on, bro. What you doing, bro? Nothing. Stagger damage in there. Fucking go permafrost. Oh, oh we got him. Fucking gold! Oh, then we got it! Oh, make a flare for it! Oh! 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 Okay, I'm starting to slowly enjoy it. <laughs> Just a little bit, a little bit more, or a lot more? Probably a lot more. Yeah, that was that was good. It's good times. Clive, Theodore. You had me worried for... Oh, really? Oh. We have to get you out of here. I... think it might be a little too late for that. Bearer or no, there's only so much ether a man can take, and that Drake... Just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. Oh my. For keeping Elle's dream. 
Oh shit. Some bearers and shit. Then <laughs> Holy shit, this one escalated quickly. What the fuck? Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer, in more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Thea told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat.
He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said it himself, that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> I was not expecting this from... Yeah. I know Theo wanted me to move on. But I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people. Save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do. Ensuring that goods, people... Bearers get where they need to be, bringing smiles to people's faces just like we always have, and to Theo's, wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen, the life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own, to continue helping you however I can, whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then, for Theodore. Holy shit, man! God damn it! <sighs> Crimson Caravan signboard. The emblem of the Crimson Caravans, porters of wide renown. They are based in Boklad, where traders from across Velestia flock to browse the Thousand Tables and transport their wares either throughout the Dominion or on down. The crystal road to the lands beyond. The breath of fire. So, oh, Scarlet Cyclone. Nah. We're not going to use that one, no, but. Wow. 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 Holy shit, Theo. What the fuck, bro? Oh. All right, well. We still got a few more side quests. It seems. Yaw. God damn it. All right. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. You. You. You will pay for what you did to me. The high card of Dominion's all but done for. That's what I heard. And it's lucky we stayed here. Is that shouting I heard from the barrel? And you're just gonna fall into line. What else can I do? I don't trust this duke. Ah, oh, Isabel. You don't do all the dame's hard work. Oh, Clive. What am I to do? I don't know. My wards and I may soon be without a home. Why? What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. Really? A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. Mm. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants, with promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me, 
I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The Captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men. If it did not cost him his life. But given mm. the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation. Least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. Good luck, sir! Under new management. Yeah, and it seems the new management sucks! Might this Duke have been at the remembrance ceremony? Let's hope we didn't make a strong impression. It's not only control of the garrison. Yeah. We already have a leader in the dame. Halt. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dame's man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But... You should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, and I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been under-reckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Cairn Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the Twins. Yeah, okay, but for a city you need people. Why kick him out? Are already underway for the construction. Right? Soon enough, these thralls 
shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbrek. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. If Sandbrek is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. And yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. And in yours, there will be only beggars. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. A citizen's revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. <laughs> oh, what, one of those quests. Those on the other side of the wall. Yeah, one of those quests. All right. <laughs> Sabine, you are embarrassing me. We already have a leader in the time. Do you think he was the only one who survived? That shouting I heard from the barracks. All right there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely. Threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint, tar bucket in hand. That so-called duke is asking too much. Yeah, seems like it. He's not quite the leader. More somebody who has visions of grandeur of himself. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, only for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Garrison salvaged what they could from more. Sell anything today? As much as you. Oh, wait. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Well, the people mm. seem united enough. What about the soldiers? Then it's lucky we stayed here. Yeah. Let's ask them. And you're just gonna fall into line. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, 
He's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. But, I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them. But if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a sword from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Oof, they are divided. Oh, I'm a ha I have a feeling that this is not gonna go too good, right? He's on what's... Yeah, they're on the other side. Okay. We already have a leader in the day. Yeah. Hmm. The issue is the soldiers the will now? win. If they have to fight. For everyone. You. You're the one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but it seems my words fell on deaf ears. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other yeah. way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the Empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us the men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Yeah, I have a feeling this is another one that's gonna escalate very quickly. Sabine, you are embarrassing. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sambrak is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. Where is Philippe? Where are you, bruh? A whole day to dry some blood. I don't think I've ever came this way. Yeah. Look at that. Is there treasure here? Perhaps? Mayhaps? No? Okay. Oh well. I did try. To look for me some treasure and I don't seem to be able to see if that there are any yeah no okay never mind never mind Philippe hey Philip welcome back wraiths give you any trouble none worth mentioning captain do you have a moment for you certainly Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe. I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. <sighs> and she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls, so I better go. Thanks again. It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. Yeah! Alright, well, let's go tell her. Clive, how 
How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... Yeah, shit's probably gonna hit the fan here. <sighs> so Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions. And hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves are of a different opinion, and would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. I was just going to say, he's going to come back and like, nope. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Exactly. Indeed. All of us. Standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. There may be hope for Northreach yet. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. Yeah, quest complete, huh? Un Sweet! But is that it? Like that's that's all of this quest is? Mm. It's kind of bittersweet. I was hoping to see like some rebel shit happening. And we fight. And we tell the fucking dude, fuck you, bitch. Saw the captain just now. All right, well let's let's go. I would speak on an adventure, I guess. We are looking for another spherical echoes. Y'all. All right, well, that's how you want to be. Come on. It's over. Bam! Blew up, bro. Uh, 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 oh. Shit. Ah! <laughs> ah! Uh, uh. Whoopsie! 
Whoopsie! I'm finding Shiva. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Of them. Very simple, but. A wine can uncross his toes now. So fun. All right. All right, and now we gotta go do that one. Oh, there it is. Rodrigo could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. Oh, yeah, and they're all gonna die. All of them. Yep, 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 yep. Uppercut! Ugh, oh. 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 Hmm, yeah. All right, well, we got the shit, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, spider eye, yeah. Wait, is that it? Are we finally done all of the quests? Uh, uh, wait, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna zoom out. I wanna zoom out. I wanna, how do I zoom out? Oh, like that. Yeah! Oh, we did it all! Oh, all right, so now we go back to the hideaway and just turn in all of them in. Oh, let's do it. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, what's the quickest way? Oh, we got to go there. We got to go there. We got to go there and then there. Yeah, so let's do Blackthorn first. Let's actually let's stock up on potions. Still alive, are you? If you're going to buy some, it'd be quick about it. You'll not find a better price than that. The stew's awfully thin these days. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltanes. Didn't see I'd nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Yeah, the pickle cinders. Pickle cinder? How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Hmm. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. Yeah, Blackthorn! Good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. You're a good man. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. <laughs> oh yeah. Now hopefully this unlocks got the newer, similar they better are. gear. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Mmm, quest complete. Yes. Blast Mix Blues. Oh! Ouroboros designing to craft. Yep, there you go. And this is for crafting the Bell Ouroboros. Yep. It's good times. Mmm! I assume this is going to be uh, pretty good, right? Or I'm hoping. Alright, Blackthorn! I need, uh... 
Let's 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 take a looky here. What you want? I'm afraid that if I do this, I'm not gonna get enough shit. You know what? Let's just do it so that we get all of the uh, purple weapons, right? I'm gonna craft it. No scratches, all right? No, nope, don't want to equip it. Yeah. Wait, I thought I had one of these. Don't I? Oh. Um. Wait, where is it? Oh, right here. Ooh. All right. So we need the stone tongue. We need oracle. Oracalcum. Mm-hmm. Better HP, better defense. What about here? Yep, same thing here. So better HP, better defense. And it would seem that we need a lot more shit to get it, right? Can I... Yeah, no, I can't reinforce anything. Nothing, thing, nothing of value, that's for sure. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought I saw an up. Yeah, it's just plus one HP. We want the Orboro stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing that we can ever upgrade is the green stuff, right? And... Okay. Hmm. I got your marble tendrils. There you go, man. Please, sir, can I have some marble? Uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. <laughs> Here. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Very nice. It's just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. Holy, yeah. They bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Yeah. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more, but this time with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. Better potions? You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Oh, wait. Better potions yet again? Oh, please. Please. Please, sir. Can I have some more potions? Oh. Invergated Morgan Beard Extract. If added, if adding the extra of Morgan Beard petals to curative or performance enhancing potions increases their potency, then imagine what adding the extra of Morgan Beard petals fortified with the vigor of a marble grit with madness might do. Oh, this is for. Oh man, it, it does. Oh, hmm. Thank you, good sir. Yeah. Yeah, so both high potions and high potions and our strength, our stone skin and Lionheart tonics last even longer. Oh, good shit. Wait, do I? Oh, there's a new quest. No, it never ends. Oh, it never ends. Oh, wait. Oh. Are we gonna get even more, like, potion slots and whatnot? Wasn't expecting you back so soon. Oh, I wasn't soon. So, is it good news or bad? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Oh, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit into the smelter right away! Mm. May I present to you the Telemon Furnace? 
Impar, is she? She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid. And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. Okay. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger... How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. Yay. So what does it give us? What do we get from this? Something good, I hope. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Awine. Shh, don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. <laughs> Class complete. So what is it? Is that what it is? Like more capacity for our potions and stuff? Expanded potion, yeah, necessary for further increasing consumable inventory. Oh yeah, oh, we got more capacity. Ooh, we were the same exotic alloy from which the class of this satchel was fashioned to be used to craft a suit of armor. It should surely be subtle enough to accommodate even the greediest knight's ever-expanding belly. Nice. Oh, so how many? Oh, now we gotta go buy more potions. Then we gotta max. We gotta friggin' fill up. So how many more? Ooh, two and then one of each again. Yeah, so now we can get, we have eight potions. Oh, five high potions and then four strength and stone skin tonics. Oh, mm, with two Ds. Wait, what? Sure. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's not gonna be great though. This one is probably not gonna be great. Thank goodness you're back. Toya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yeah, the spider eye. Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Toya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. Yeah. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. <laughs> Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. 
And you, Clive? Oh, see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. Yeah. I hope so. Well, we got some stuff. A whole bunch of it. That we're probably never going to use again. We can probably just sell it for monies at this point. Oh, I guess I put a friggin' dot there or something. Yeah, yeah, we got one more to go, apparently. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like... No I knew where we were gonna go. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned, or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Dorish sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. Okay. Alright then, yeah! I won't let that happen. Let's go! Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Blacksmith's Blues 4! Oh! Yeah, we didn't unlock new hunts though, but you know. How may I help you today, Clive? Oh, you know. That is a lot of ability points. Here you are. Ooh, Genji, <gasps> Genji gloves. Oh, I knew it. There are so many Final Fantasy 12 fucking references. Unless that Genji gloves were in an older Final Fantasy that I don't know of. But yeah, Genji gloves. Genji, the, the Genji equipment of Final Fantasy 12. Definitely, yep. Come again. I may have more for ya. Sure. Yeah, I think I have like what? Yeah, I only have... Yeah, I got two S ranks. Oh, I have three S ranks. Pandemonium. Oh, those few souls were able to escape from Ash before the skies changed. Tell of Pandemonium. The king of the orcs who led his fellow beastmen in revolt against Waluda rule. Though his rebellion was swiftly crushed by King Barbanus' armies, many of the orcs who now roam the twins sent their app out for human flesh and bear his markings, suggesting that he still commands his forces today. Yeah, so we got four S ranks that we still need to do. Okay. So let's go, um... Yeah. I thought I was gonna be done with the quest. 
But I guess not. So Dravos is still standing. For now at least. Clive! You're here! Yeah! <clears throat> and the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? Yes. I am. Might as well. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? How the fuck did you get here? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. That your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan. Our master didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravos is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's just fucking go. You, uh, ready for the off then? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go. We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackford. You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Now we got this. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? Hello! 
Would you like some wheat? Some hay? Or my sword? Which one of you is first? He's the only one left. Okay. Well, there you go. Have the mega player. More enemies. Oh, what is that? A griffin? Shit. Oh, get red fool. Get red fool. Oh, fucking stagger up the wazoo. Let's go. Oh, sh holy shit. <laughs> Is that it? I seem to have leveled up. Apparently not. A Hydra? Oh! An actual Chimera! do my fucking cross fights. Okay, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I wanted to try those moves a little bit more, but it seems I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh! Oh, oh, get fucking wrecked, fool. And have a Giga Flare to the face! Mm. Dodge! 
All right, fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. Piece of shit. There you go. Have a fucking Giga Flare. Yeah, you take that. Fucking feed this Giga Flare. There we go. Fuck you. I don't know. I, my time is on. Oh, fuck, I need to get. I'm this far in the game, and I still need to get better with dodging. Dead? No, the question is Did I miss any? Gonna be another one? Gonna be one more battle? Man alive! You stood in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Nice. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. All right, then. Zoltan! Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravos won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... Thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare not let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, 
He'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw. Back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Yeah, I agree. Even better than I'd hoped. Mm hmm Sid, I've got something for you. Hmm. Yeah! Of course! And this is... Seals. A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> You know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Nice. Okay, well, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna take it that I'm probably gonna need some uh, material of the S rank. Fucking hunts to be able to do this shit, right? The stew's awfully thin. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. <laughs> oh, all four of our blacksmith blues quests. Talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now. Save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then. So we're getting a very, very sweet weapon, right? That's, that's what I'm understanding right now, right? Well, bugger me. <laughs> we actually did it. Oh, 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 that is sweet looking. Be a sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. It's quite something. I, uh, trust you'll take good care of it. <laughs> oh, we're bringing Thank Ragnarok you. to Odin. Both of you. Oh, we're gonna. So, oh. Does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this. Nah, this was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravost. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? 
Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Oh! Oh, we're gonna go to freaking Odin's face and hit him with a fucking Ragnarok! Mm. Oh, got her damn wrong! Mm, got her! Damn! <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Guten Dram. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, first of all. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ragnarok. Oh, look at that. 25 extra attack and stagger. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. All right. So, um, wait, Blastmas Blues 4. <laughs> One ever, if it All right. What's saying for you, dear? So, what is it? Yeah, this. Oh shit, we need a lot of those Oracle Kum. Dark Steel Primitive Battle Horn. Ooh, so, oh, is this is to upgrade a Ragnarok. Hmm. Okay. So basically, what you're trying to tell me. Oh, look at that. Extra 50 attack and stagger damage. <whistles> wow. Alright. That it. Yes. Fine. Oh, jeez. Man, we got a lot of new stuff, too. We got orchestrions. We got the reading tables. We got the wall of memories. We got new hunts. Probably for that specifically, for that weapon. Um, let's go check out the orchestrion. And the newer songs was the, uh, yeah, the line in the hair. Hmm. 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 Mission music. Man, look at that rag. Oh, oh, so good. A healer's place. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his mortal coil. Contrary to what the madding crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure Ill, every ill, mend every wound, save every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing down some behemoth or its toenails. Tarya. In laws there will be found. It is hard to believe Theo is gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there at the stables. Watering the birds or readying the packs. Yet he is not, and it is everything I can do not to fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on, but that doesn't mean I have to forget. My brother and I built all that we have here together. So as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me. And I shall honor him in death. By carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. It was. The courage to fight. What happened in Eastpool with the bearers and the guardians have been a long time coming, and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosario. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many, and it is through victories such as these that fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is. Martha. And tail makes four. Clive, there's but one crystal left needs cracking. And but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss. Otto. Wall of memories. Yeah. We got Martha's rest signboard. 
the emblem of Martha's Rest, personal fiefdom of the landlady of the Golden Stables in an island of safety and security in a sea of anything but. It shows a sleeping chocobo and the guardians and bearers of Rosario can too rest easy, safe in the knowledge that they have a friend in Martha. And then we got the Sitz... No, not Sitz Goblin. Yeah, this one's. Crimson Caravan Signboard. The emblem of the Crimson Caravans, quarters of wide renowned base in the market of town of Folklad. It depicts a lightened chocobo. After the death of her brother and confidant, Theodore, Iluas chose to continue the work they have begun together. Free and bearers from slavery, just as she had freed him so many years before. Yeah. We have a lot of memories that we don't have yet, though. Yeah. I saw a little dot here. I thought maybe there was a, like a treasure chest now here for some reason. No. Okay. All right. Well, now is the time to check out for the hunts. I'm curious if to see if we have any new um, outfits, though. Do we? No. Both of them looks good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um... It would have been nice if they would have put way more outfits than this. Just that. Covered in nicks and lumps. Well, like, you're gonna give them appearances. Give them more than just two. Alright, well, that's it for this one. This is a, this is a long one. Holy mac. But I wanted to get all of the side quests done before we move on. But, and before we move on, I also want to do all the hunts that I can. So, that, so I'll see you all in the next one. Sweat out.